welcome back to Tears of the Kingdom Shrine Tutorials. Today we're approaching the Maoix Shrine, which you can see is at the very top of that mountain in that skull looking thing. It's quite the journey to get up there, so let's get started. <clears throat> First of all, you're going to come to this uh, floating contraption that a bunch of Bokoblins have built. You're going to want to fight all the Bokoblins and Lizalfos on this floating platform. Um, they're very low level though, so if you want to use your bow and knock a bunch of them out easily, go ahead and do that. It makes it a lot easier. Afterwards, you're also going to want to go to this rock where there's a bunch of constructs. Get some really powerful horns here, so definitely worth hanging out here. Um, of course, constructs are easily defeated by knocking them in the water, so you can do that as well. After you defeat the constructs, there's a bridge that leads over towards the mountain, and a cooking pot if you need it. There he is. As you can see, he's guarded by a black bokoblin. Once you get up closer to the mountain, uh, you can start climbing, and you might notice that there is a cave entrance. So if you do notice it, you should head into that cave. This is the Bone Pond East Cave, and it has a couple horoblins in it but not a problem. Um, more importantly, there's some ores, bright bloom seeds, and sticky lizards in here if you need those. There's the other Horoblin. Hoek. Fire for you. Perfect. There's also some like-likes in the back of the cave, if that's something you're worried about. Don't worry, the like-likes at this point are pretty easy. These ones are stone-like likes, so you probably should use a bomb flower to get rid of the rock face on it. There you go. And then it's just easy peasy getting that, hitting their uh, little mouth thing. There we go. You freeze them, it's easier to get them. Ooh, a Zora spear. We are close to the Zora area, so. The most important part that we need to go to over here, though, is where these uh, um, bones are. Attach some boulders real quick. There we go. As you can see, there's some broken boulders and the booble frog. You want to hit that, get your booble gem. And then we're going to destroy those rocks. Okay, we can use this as a point to use ascension and pop up into a room. Alright, when you pop all the way up, you will see a room with a boss bokoblin and several other bokoblins in it. You're going to want to defeat these guys. Uh, as you can see, I froze the, the stronger ones, and now I'm just going to attack the weaker ones. It's a nice little easy way to get it done. I'm 
big guy wake up yet? Nope, now he is. Alright, now the big guys are all woken up. You could use Shock Fruit to make it so he can't hold on to a weapon. That makes him a little bit easier to defeat. Silver Bow Coblins, you just have to keep hitting. They have a lot of hit points. So yeah, just be relentless against them. Oh, I missed a guy. Look at that. Alright, after you defeat them, you can lift this cage up here and free this man. Um, he is uh, researching the blood moon. Uh, and he's going to give you some free food. Hardy elixir. All right, now that you've gotten through here, you're going to want to uh, head back out uh, and continue climbing the mountain. As you can see here, we're next to a bunch of uh, more monsters. You want to fight those guys. Once you're finished fighting them, it's a short little climb up to the top where we're finally reaching the skull head. Go ahead and hop into the skull head, and as you can see, there's going to be a hole in the roof. I'm just going to fall through there, and you're going to fall back into this cave, and you're going to be like, wait, what? But then there it'll be the shrine, the Maoix shrine. Thanks to the ordeal that you had to do to get up all the way up here. This one is a Raru's blessing. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you at your next shrine.